everybody, it's Miss Leah from the Laurel County Public Library, and this week we are digging into reading and going underground with some icky, sticky, slimy slugs. We are going to be reading a book called Some Smug Slug and making some really cool slug slime. Now, if you want to come see me this week, you'll get to hear a great story. You'll get to make some really cool slime. You'll get to see Pete the Cat, who has joined me again for this video. Let me show you how we're going to make our slime. You can use some simple household ingredients, borax, if your mom can find some borax at the grocery store, school glue, and water. That's all it takes. So the first thing we're going to do is take one cup of water and mix two teaspoons of borax into the bowl. The water needs to be warm so that the borax dissolves. So you're going to mix that, you're going to stir it until all of the borax is dissolved. Now don't drink this because it will clean your insides and we don't want that to happen. So mix that up. The next thing we are going to do now that that's all mixed is you're going to take your school glue. Most people will just have small bottles of school glue, but I have so many friends that will be here this week I had to buy the giant bottle of school glue. Pour in one cup of glue try not to make a mess, into one cup of water. I've already got the water into the cup. So pour that. Now, you can use food coloring. I use tempera paint here at the library to color my snail slime or my slug slime, which either one you really want to make. Slugs or snails. I think snails are just slugs with shells on their back. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to make mine purple. Mix it really good. While I mix this, I'm going to tell you something really cool that I learned about slugs. Did you know that they make two types of slime? One of the types of slime they make is thin and watery, and the other type is thick and sticky. And the thick and sticky slime does not taste good, so it helps protect them against predators. So don't pick up a slug and eat it. It wouldn't be very tasty. Pete, don't quit. You have to quit eating slugs, okay? I've talked to you about this. You've got to quit eating slugs. They are really gross. Okay, now that I have the two mixtures mixed together really well, let me make sure that one's mixed together. We are going to combine the two into this big bowl. So I'm going to pour it into this one so you can see it just a little bit better. Looks good, doesn't it? Alright. And when you mix this up, look what we have created. We have created some slug slime. So if you join me this week at the library, you'll get to hear a really cool story. You'll get to make some slug slime. You'll get to see Pete the Cat. And you'll get to see me. So I hope I see you guys at the library this week. See you later.